Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cora and today we're going to be doing a couple of things. First I'm going to be doing a decorative shelf. I'm going to be showing you guys this little sphere project that I've done and used in a couple projects around the house for decorative pieces and then I'm going to get, be giving you a mantelpiece update because I did do a little bit something different to this mantelpiece since the last time that you saw it in the living room um, makeover our video. So I will link that up above if you want to see how I originally made the mantelpiece But for this video, we're just going to be doing the update on a portion of it So let's get started on the decorative shelf So for this project I'm going to start out by using some of these one by ones that I picked up pre-cut at the store They come in like a package So I just picked up a bunch of them and I've used them for multiple projects Then I'm going to be using some of these eight inch wide by I think it was an eight foot board that I cut into two to use for the sides here because I'm going to be actually using the one by ones for the top, the bottom, and the middle shelf support. Using two of the one by ones on either side for both the top, the bottom, and the middle shelves, I went ahead and I screwed those in on the sides and then it was time to place in the top, bottom, and middle shelves. Notice that the middle shelves are set in a little bit further. I used six inch wide boards for those instead of the eight like I did on the top and the bottom. Now, once I uh, have those in there, I wanna go ahead and check for to make sure that everything is level. I used my orange T-square here to make sure that everything was nice and squared up and then I used my level to really make sure everything was level before screwing it, screwing it in. You can use wood screws, nails, or even wood glue to go ahead and put these shelves on the top. I used screws to screw them down and then I decided that I wanted it to look a little bit more clean on the edges. So after everything was level and screwed in, I decided to add trim. I always add my trim the same way. I will cut it with a miter box and then I will use Gorilla Glue to hold it on with and use tape to uh, pretty much hold it on there until the glue dries. So using the miter box and using different angles and such, you can get the corner angles here. You could do things around like bathroom mirror shelves, framing in different things, whatever. Just use the miter box as a guide to help you. It does 45 and 90 degree angles, which is very helpful for getting those corner edges and whatever. I recommend using a nice thin, a fine blade so that it cuts like butter. The more rigid blade that you have, the rougher the edge you're gonna get. So when you're doing more of these decorative pieces, use a nice fine blade. You can ask your local home improvement store guy for help and he'll help you. And then I always like to use some of this plastic wood wood filler to fill in any of the holes or creases or edges. I use it on the mantle, which you can check out in that video in the living room makeover, but I'm doing the same thing here. I'm just putting some of the wood filler on and then sanding it out to make sure that my surface is nice and smooth and prepped for painting. Now for the paint, I'm using the same exact paint that I used on the mantle, which is the chalked linen white paint by Rust-Oleum. It is beautiful. It goes on smooth and I really only needed two coats. I could have got away with one, but there was uh, the middle boards there, as you can see, really soaked up that paint color. So I ended up going over it with a second coat. And then it was time to decorate. And then I have used this little shelving piece in my office and project room for storing lots of paints and things. It's very durable and sturdy, but you could also use it for a decorative piece, a bookshelf, art shelf, picture shelf, whatever. Moving right along, we're going to be doing the sphere project. Now this sphere is something that I find that's really pretty and I've seen in a lot of decorative pieces, but when I looked it up online, just to get something like this is like $10 for like different ones, or you can get three for 20 something, it's ridiculous. So I decided using some glue, twine, and a balloon that I would make it at home. So I went ahead and I wrapped the balloon with the twine, used some of the glue and water to kind of make like a paste like you do when you're doing like a Mod Podge or decoupage kind of thing. And then I spray painted it while it was, uh, after it was dry, spray painted a little bit white, popped the balloon, and then here we go. I did do a little bit more um, white spray painting kind of to get a little bit on the inside, but I liked the raw twine edge. It gave it more of the rustic look that I like. So then I have used these sphere type little decorative pieces in multiple places, as you've probably seen in some of my videos. You'll see it here in the laundry room. You've seen it on the mantle when I originally did it. And then I have moved it around using it in little places like on the tufted ottoman that I did in that video, you've seen it, which the cats love to play with because it is more of like a sturdy yarn ball for them. So if you're also looking for some sort of a pet toy DIY, this might be fun for them. 
The last thing that we're going to look at today is the mantle update. Now, when I did the mantle piece originally, it didn't have any sort of backing, but if you look at a real mantle, it has sort of a black background from where the actual smoke and fire goes. So what I decided to do was take this little wooden thing that I had from the bottom of a palette that was kind of left over and I didn't know what to do with it. So I decided to paint it black and it had nice wood grooves to it, but I just painted black and I slid it behind the mantle piece. And then I just decorated because this was right before Christmas when I decided to do this. And the whole reason that I made this mantle was so that I could decorate my mantle piece with my stockings. So I absolutely love how it turns out. I do think it transformed and made it better. So if you are looking to make a real true looking mantle piece, add the black background, I recommend it. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you like these DIYs and all of the updates that I had for you. If you wanna see more, just keep on watching and subscribe to my channel and you'll catch all the new videos as they come out. As long as you hit that little notification icon, bell thingy majiggy next to the subscribe button, if it works. All right guys, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.